I'm back. <laughs> it is Friday the 25th of September and full steam ahead again now to get this done. Um, so just trying to recap. We've done the booklets. Um, haven't really worked on the ephemera but that will come later and then we worked on the journal itself the bind the um, cover and the signatures and the binding and what have you the only thing i have done off camera since i was last here with you guys was i glued this into place i screwed it in tightly and then glued it into place with i just used fabri tac well a beacon three in one and that's all that's just stopped it from moving. If you push too hard, it will come back out, but not out. It'll push back through. But yeah, so that's now poking up as it should be and doesn't keep moving in and out. And yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with the way this has gone. Um, I did... I think I showed this on a video, I can't remember, but just to recap, I did add pages, an extra page into the middle of the signatures that I tried to tie in with the first page, colour scheme wise, not that it matters, it just made me a bit happier, <laughs> so that that middle page isn't so plain. Um, but yeah, so that's about as far as we got, and then since then things came to a bit of a halt just yeah life is crazy right now guys um anywho i am not i mentioned this i think in the other videos i am not happy with the way that turned out because they didn't line up properly so i've decided that i'm going to use this lace which is really pretty delicate lace, but it's a little bit kind of an off-white colour. Um, but yeah, so I just decided I'm going to use this lace to just put down the spine. You will still see it, but it won't be as noticeable because your eye line will be drawn to the lace. So I'm just going to pop that down there on the spine and then I'm going to also use the same lace to just pop along the edge there and then again on the back. Then, because <laughs> that's not straight on that side, this isn't straight on this side, and it's bugging me. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this. I love this stuff. Um, I have a whole heap of it. I mean, there's loads of it. And it is just beautiful pink lace a very nice baby pink like let me get it out the back like a very nice baby pastel pink lace and i'm just going to pop that here to hide the fact that that's not straight but also to take your eyeline away from that not being straight as well So it doesn't work perfectly, but it works enough for my liking. <laughs> Anywho, so that is what I'm going to do to there. I will also do that on the back. And then on the signatures, I can't remember. I, yeah, it was on these pages. So on these coloured pages, on the plain side of the coloured pages, I am going to use these laces so this one they're both very delicate laces they're a bit like crochet type lace but they're very thin very nice and they are pretty much the same not the same pattern really but the same kind of trim just one's a little bit thicker than the other so i'm going to alternate them throughout on the colored pages so that's that and then I'm not I still wasn't sure what to do with the front 
of the book. I'm not doing anything to the back. But once that lace has been put on there, like so, I thought it's very pretty. It finishes it off a little bit, but it needs something, and I'm not sure what. Then I remembered, oh, actually, we're going to put book corners on. So... The book's curled a bit in that corner. These will obviously be glued on and then put into place properly. Just giving you guys a little bit of an insight to how it's going to look in the end. So that lace will be on there. The book corners will be on. And then I did this. I forgot I had this. I have a beautiful beautiful delicate cross die metal die and it is gorgeous and i cut this out of border a wallpaper border um this so of course it's very textured as well and then i just thought Do you know what that just glued there onto the front of the book would be gorgeous but it needs something behind it because it's too plain or that it kind of just gets lost in the book otherwise it's not particularly looking like that through the screen but it does in person so I was thinking maybe some cheesecloth behind it or something like that but I haven't got that far yet let's just chop a bit of this off and see I could dye this that's too much, but just to get a bit of an insight. Like I said, I could dye this a nice vintage colour, which I might do. Just pop that there and then that on top, maybe. I'm not sure, I'm not even liking that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I do like that. I think that needs to be on there definitely, maybe around here somewhere or you know yeah definitely up there at the top because of the binding and the binding the um yeah, closure which for the time being I have come up with this organza ribbon. It won't even be that way, it'll be that way tied around I don't know guys I'm struggling a little bit now um, but yes yeah, so I'm going to crack on and get the cover done and then we shall work on the signatures and to get things moved along quickly because it is now the 25th of September um, I think I will just speed it up now and do them in not uh, possibly separate videos but then just speed them up and add music to them otherwise I get too distracted when I'm talking to you guys I forget what I'm doing and um, yeah also it just drags on so I shall get cracking on that now guys and then when I've done that we'll come back and we'll talk about it more then so I will move along. 